Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's, let's turn to Matthew 11. Amen. Matthew 11. Amen. God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. He's excellent. Hallelujah. Amen. He's, he's everything. He's all in all. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Matthew 11, uh, 13 through 14. I'm going to read two uh, 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 scriptures and I'll let you be seated. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, chapter 11, verse 13. It says, for all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. Okay. Amen. And if ye will receive it, this is Elias, which was far to come. I think this is the, yeah. Okay. Amen. It's talking about uh, 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 John. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. This is um, the scripture that I'm looking for, and I thought I had it around, yeah, verse 12. <laughs> Praise God. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Man, praise God. That's, man, yeah, hallelujah. Let's go to Jude. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Jude 3. Hallelujah. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you the common salvation, say common salvation. It was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Amen. When you see the word contend, it means to agonize continually, to agonize for the faith. Amen. Which is once and for all delivered unto the saints. Amen. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, mighty God, I thank you for what you're going to do, mighty God. Lord Jesus, mighty God, Lord God, let your word go forth. Put weight to the words, mighty God. This is your word, mighty God. Let your will be done in and through it, mighty God. We sit in heavenly places in you right now, in Christ Jesus. And mighty God, thank you for what you're going to do, mighty God. Show yourself strong, mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. The kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, but the violent take it by force. Amen. Hallelujah, church. Amen. We live in a voice-activated kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you, you are the ch children of God. Hallelujah. I hope this word is an encouragement to you. Um, the title, amen. Hallelujah. It says to be violent, come boldly. Be violent, come boldly. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, the kingdom of God suffered violence, but the violent take it by force. Verse 12. Amen. Hallelujah. See, when they talk about suffered violence, this is talking about you and I when we came into the kingdom of God, when we came to the Lord. Amen. Where people were pressing on Jesus. They were coming to Jesus. Amen. For healing, for deliverance. Amen. For salvation. Hallelujah. They were pressing. They were coming to God. It's not to say that they're violent. Right? It's doesn't, doesn't, not like that, right? It's coming for a prize. It's pressing forward. Amen. Hallelujah. They come to Jesus. They came with violence. They wanted the kingdom of God. They suffered violence. The kingdom of God suffered violence. It allows violence. It allows you to press. The kingdom of God allows you to press. Amen. It allows you to press with violence. Hallelujah. To come to God with violence. To come boldly to his throne. To come to him with all you got. Amen. Like a prize, a possession. Hallelujah. That's how people were pressing on the Lord Jesus Christ. They were coming to him, right? Amen. They were pressing. The crowds came. Amen. First, it started with John the Baptist. When you read these scriptures, it talks about John the Baptist here. Amen. Hallelujah. How all the people came to John the Baptist. Amen. As he was preparing the way of the Lord. Amen. And they were being baptized. Praise God. But they were coming. They were, they were wanting God. They want to know God. They want to be right. They wanted to be be ready. Amen. They want the kingdom of God. They press. Amen. Hallelujah. And God's coming to you tonight, church, that you got to keep pressing. When we came to God, amen. Hallelujah. When we got baptized in Jesus' name, amen. You had a hunger. You were at a low point. You were at a low state. You were at a place, amen, in your life, hallelujah, that all you can was look up. Hallelujah. Amen. Nothing in this world, in this life could help you. Hallelujah. You tried everything. Pastor talked this morning. Alcohol couldn't help you. 
Hallelujah. Drugs couldn't help you. Amen. Hallelujah. Anything that tried to relieve the pain couldn't help you. But Jesus is the answer. Hallelujah. And what did you do? Amen. You said, man, I got to have this. I got to have Jesus. Amen. I got to have him. Hallelujah. So you pressed. Amen. Hallelujah. He called you and you came and you, hallelujah, you pressed forward. Hallelujah. And you got to keep pressing. Because that's the point, okay? We're in the kingdom of God. In the kingdom of God, suffered violence, amen? And the violence taken by force, correct? We were once saved, amen? We're now being saved so we can be saved in the future. But you got to keep pressing. Hallelujah. You got to come boldly. Hallelujah, amen? You got to keep pushing. Praise God. You got to be violent, church. We live in the day and age, amen? Hallelujah, amen? Where there's violence going on. These spirits, amen, hallelujah, they've been leashed on the earth, hallelujah. We are living in the last days. It says the last days are going to be like the days of Noah. And these spirits are violent. They don't sleep. They don't slumber. Hallelujah. They want to take, hallelujah, take the image of God and mar it. Hallelujah. And i got to be careful going out to different paths here, amen. But I'm going to tell you, you as a people of God have to be violent too. You have to be violent all the way. You have to want it bad. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you were violent, man, I tell you what, when you're out in the world, boy, you did, nothing will stop you to get them cigarettes. Nothing will stop you to go after that beer. Amen. Nothing will stop you, hallelujah, to go after the sex you wanted. Hallelujah. You were, well, you, now you were violent for it. Hallelujah. You were violent for the things you wanted. Hallelujah. But now you're a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. Amen. So now you got to be violent to press into the kingdom of God. Because the enemy is going to do whatever it takes, church, to stop you. The enemy wants what he wants. The worst thing a Christian can do is be apathy. Hallelujah. Be apathy. Apathetic. No, no, no emotion. No desire for God. No desire for the things of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Put a sleeping pill. Amen. Hallelujah. Give you a sleeping a, a, a shot or something. Amen. To put you to sleep. Hallelujah. Spiritually speaking. Hallelujah. Say, I'm okay. I'm all right. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. But you can't do that. You have to fight. You have to press forward. Amen. You have to be violent, church. Hallelujah. We're living in a day and age. Hallelujah. Amen. I've been studying. I've been reading this book called The Return of the Gods. Hallelujah. I don't know if you heard that book, Return of the Gods. Amen. Talks about all sorts of things. And I, if the Lord allows me to teach it, I will. Amen. But hallelujah. But I tell you, I've been learning a lot. And there's a spirit of this age that's going around this United States of America. Amen. And it's taking people and making people, turning people, women into men and men into women. Hallelujah. I'm trying to mar the image of God. And if you study it, this spirit is called the spirit of Ishtar. Okay? Spirit of Ishtar. And this spirit of Ishtar, if you go study that idol, okay? That idol. Now, you look at the idol, but you also got to see the spirit behind it. Amen? And all it does, it makes women into men and men into women. It takes the truth of God and twists it into its own demise. Amen? Hallelujah. The truth of God is, it is what you are. You're a man, you're a man. You're a woman, you're a woman. That's the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, what's the day today? May the 21st. It is what it is. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am Timothy Contreras. It is what it is. I can't change it. Hallelujah. Amen. Truth is truth. Truth. God's truth is God's truth. You can't change it. He made you in the image of God. He made, amen, man and female in the image of God. When you get married, hallelujah, you are, you are showing the image of God. Hallelujah. Amen. But the, this spirit is so radical. It is violent. Hallelujah. If you go study this spirit, it is so violent. If you see these people, hallelujah, that want to express this transgenderism, hallelujah, this, amen, they're violent, man. If you go and tell the truth to them, they'll start cussing at you. Hallelujah, but amen, you see, they'll start yelling at you. Amen, hallelujah. Amen, They're, it's a violent spirit behind it, church. Hallelujah, amen. So this spirits of this day and age, amen, that spirit of Ishtar, hallelujah, is, 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 is violent. But what I'm trying to tell you, church, and what God's trying to tell us is we got to be violent. We have to be violent. 
Hallelujah. You got to be violent when you come to church when you don't feel like it. You got to be violent. Hallelujah. You, hallelujah. When you don't want to pray, you don't feel like you got to be violent. You got to be violent, church. Hallelujah. When you don't want to move, hallelujah, you got to be violent. You got to give yourself, amen. Hallelujah to the word of God and to the spirit of God, amen. You have to be violent. Hallelujah. You got to know the word, amen. So we have to contend for the faith, which was once and all delivered unto the saints, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Go to Jude 3 real quick. So much in this, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we have to be violent. You have to press, church. Amen. It says the very elect can be deceived. Now, I don't believe anybody in this church is deceived. You know what's coming. See, that's the thing. We know what's coming. We know what's coming, but it's nothing to fear. Amen. Hallelujah. Right? It's nothing to fear because why? Because it's already finished. The victory is already ours. Hallelujah. But we have to believe that. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So if I go to Jude 3. It says, Beloved, I give all diligence to run to you the common salvation. We have a common salvation. Amen. What's our common salvation? Baptized in Jesus' name, getting filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you raised up in water. I remember Pastor preaching this. There were some people that were raised up in water. And when they were raised up in water, they were raised up already with a sword in their hand. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. They were raised up with a sword already in their hand, ready to fight. When you, put your, when you got baptized in Jesus' name, when you came into this kingdom, hallelujah, you didn't come just to say, hey, okay, I'm done. It's it. That's over. No, you're now in a battle. Yeah, you're in a fight. Hallelujah. You were raised up in, the, in an army. Hallelujah. How many believe that, though? How many believe that, though? If you don't believe it, you won't fight. Sometimes what happens, we don't fight right. We, we, don't, we, don't, we don't fight right. Hallelujah. We fight other ways. We do other things. We try to do our own thing, but we don't fight right. Amen. Hallelujah. When you don't fight again, amen, according to the word of God, then what are you doing? Hallelujah. How are you fighting? We have to enter into his rest. See, there's a called an art of fighting without fighting. Okay? There's an art of fighting without fighting. Pastor preached a long time ago. You can enter a place of God where God does it all by himself. It's called the art of fighting without fighting. Hallelujah. How many heard of Bruce Lee? <laughs> yeah, he said there's an art of fighting without fighting. But he didn't, understand, he, didn't, he didn't really know what that is. Hallelujah. Amen. There's an art of fighting, church, without fighting. And that's entering into the rest of God, and he can do it all himself. But you have to press. You have to do the praying. He's not going to pray for you. You have to pray. He's not going to read the Bible for you. You're going to have to read it. Amen. He's not going to get you to the Word. He's not going to bring you to the prayer room. You have to get up. And if you get up and you meet God halfway, he'll meet you halfway. But you got to enter into his rest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. How many seen the red fern groves? Anybody seen the red fern groves? There's this one part of the red fern groves. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where he's cutting down this tree to get the coon. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He was cutting down with that little, and this makes me cry every time because I see God in this story. He's cutting down that tree, boom, with that small axe, boom. He's just cutting down that tree, and he can't cut it down. Then his parents come and look for him and say, where have you been, boy? I said, I'm here trying to cut down that tree. And he didn't want to leave that tree because he had to be faithful to them dogs. He says, i got to get that coon because I promised my dogs. Amen. Amen. He promised them. Amen. Hallelujah. And so he says, okay, son, the father, I'm going to give you a man-sized axe because that little axe ain't going to do. Amen. And he got a man-sized axe. He started cutting down that tree. Boom. Boom. And he couldn't do it. He did it with all his strength, with all his might. He gave it all he got. He couldn't do it. He says, God, he looked up. He says, God, I can't do this. Help me. Amen. I can't do this. Help me. And all of a sudden, the wind blew and knocked down that tree. Amen. And here went the coon. But I'm telling you, that's God. See, that's how you got to be. You got to give it all you got. You got to press. You got to press with all you got. You got to give it all you got. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You got to be violent. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And God will meet you. Yeah. Hallelujah. He can't do it for you. Right. And I'm going to show you some examples of that. Amen. He will not do it for you. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. I'm going to write this down because I believe God put this in my spirit in my notes. Amen. He says the way you press through to get saved is what you have to do now. You have to press through. You have to fight. 
You have to, to make haste. You have to be hasteful. You have to have a sense of urgency. Amen. Because you live in time. We live in time. Time runs out. Boom. Right. That second went. That 30 seconds already went. That minute went. And when God moves in the house, and I'm not trying to get a response. I'm not, church. But when pastor says you got to move, that's your opportunity to move. Because there goes that second. There goes that minute. There goes that hour. And you haven't moved. Hallelujah. You got to be violent. You got to be violent to receive the word when the word goes forth. You got to be violent. Amen. And I thank God for the word that's been going forth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to have a sense of urgency. This is our faith. This is our common salvation. This is our inheritance. God wants you to spread it. Wants you to take dominion. Hallelujah. You have to contend. You have to fight within and you have to fight without. You have to fight within. You have to fight without. There's a battle will come within and there's a battle on the outside. On the inside and on the outside. Amen. You have to hold the line. Hallelujah. That's a soldier thing. You have to hold the line. No matter what comes forth, you have to hold the line in your prayer life. You have to hold the line in reading your word. You have to hold the line in giving yourself to the word. You got to be violent. You got to be on the offense and on the defense at the same time. Hold the line. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Job, amen. When Job, hallelujah, he contended for the faith. He prayed for his family. He get up and he prayed for his family, amen. He believed God. And he went through what he went through, amen. But what did he say? He hold the line. Because God trusted in him. God used him as a vessel, amen, hallelujah, to fight against the enemy. And God wants to use you as a vessel to fight against the enemy, amen, hallelujah. He says, he says, Yo, yeah, he will he, will he say, although he slay me, yet will I trust him. He holded the line. He holded the line in his truth. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. You got to be a mentality. You got to get to a place. Hey, to the brink, just say, you know what? Just bring it on, man. I have nothing to lose. Jesus did it all for me. I got to get to a place where there's nothing to lose. I'm going to go into the battle. I'm going to go into the fray. Hallelujah. Amen. When the Navy SEALs fight, hallelujah, these men fight. Amen. When they were in battle, they would say, hold the line. The Navy SEALs, what they would do is they would go into the battle for, before the other men come in and they would take the stronghold. They would take dominion. They would go to the high ground. Hallelujah. And they would make sure they would clear the path. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what you're doing as a soldier. You're making the path for your king for his second coming. You're making the clear path. Hallelujah. You go to the high ground in prayer. You go to the high ground in your worship. You go to the high ground, amen, when you give him praise, amen. And those Navy SEALs, man, when they were under fire, they were trained so much. You're in training right now. You're in training right now for the tribulation period. It's coming. Hallelujah. You're in training right now. You say, what's this weird thing going on to me? Why do I keep having battle after battle after battle after battle, amen? Because God is training you. He's preparing you for something. That when you get there, it's not going to be nothing to it. It's not going to be nothing to it. Because you have nothing to lose. Hallelujah. Amen. You have nothing to lose. Praise God. He says, hold the line. Watch this. This is what the Navy SEALs would say. When they were, when they were ready for battle, when they were coming to war, when they saw the enemy coming, they were, they were going and they would speak to each other. Amen. He says, stand by to get some. That's what they would say. He says, stand by to get some. Hallelujah. Amen. And they would, they would have joy in that. They would laugh when the bullets would fly. They were at a place. Amen. Hallelujah. They were ready to die. Hallelujah. They were ready to die. Come hell or high water, we're going to fight. Hallelujah. And it says, stand by to get some. Hallelujah, church. So you got to stand by as a soldier to get some. Because the God says you're going to be persecuted for my name's sake. So stand by. Hallelujah. Fight. Press. Move forward in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I need this, church. Hallelujah. Because I'm nothing without my God. Hallelujah. But God can do it through us. God will fight through us. Hallelujah. Amen. He will fight through you. Hallelujah. He'll give you the power and the strength to give it all you got. Hallelujah. To fight the enemy. The enemy's under your feet already. I'm already a dead man. I'm a dead man walking. Hallelujah. I was sacrificed, I was crucified on the cross with my Lord and Savior. What do I have to lose? Hallelujah. Amen. You don't have to lose. Stand by. Stand by to get some. Hallelujah. Amen. 
You have to pray. You have to seek God. There is no room for apathy. There is no room for these false feelings. Amen. You don't, you have no room for feelings. Only room for spirit. Only room, hallelujah, for the spirit to control. Hallelujah. Let the spirit control your emotions. Let the spirit control your thoughts. Let the Holy Ghost rule and reign in you. Hallelujah. Amen. And you will have no room for apathy. You will have no room for false feelings. We don't move by feelings. We move by what? Faith. You're going to have to have faith. You're going to have to have faith in these last days. Because there's going to be times where the elect of God are going to say, there's some elect of God, they're going to say, he delayeth his coming. No, sir. You have to hold the line. No, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. No, he's not delaying his coming. He's coming back. I stand upon his word. Hallelujah. He's coming back. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. David. Hallelujah. 1 Samuel 34 through 10. He says, shall I pursue God? Shall I pursue? See, hallelujah. You know the story. Pastor preaching not long ago. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Where the enemy came in and took his wives, took his children. Hallelujah. Amen. He was not right with God. Amen. But God didn't move, did he? No. It just happened. Amen. The people, man, they took him. God could have said, God, why did you step in and stop him? Right? Why, church? Because God has limited himself to prayer. He's limited us, amen, to prayer. We are supposed to take dominion. He says, I will move when you move. Amen. And so what did David do? Shall I pursue God? Amen. He says, and God says, pursue. But who did it? God did it through him. God did it through him. Amen. Hallelujah. If God does it, he see, enter into his rest. Says, Shall I pursue God? Pursue. You should be able to fight at the same time be in peace. And, that, and, that, and that, that's an art of fighting. And I don't, I'm not saying I'm there yet, but I want to get there. Hallelujah. I want, I want to get there when the bullets are flying. I can just relax like this. And hallelujah. And trust in my God. Hallelujah. Because that's what those Navy SEALs do. They can't do this. Because they'll kill themselves and they'll kill their platoon. Amen. They have to learn how to be relaxed when the bullets are flying there. Amen. And going, okay. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, amen. That's a soldier. Hallelujah. And if that happens in the physical, what does that tell you in the spirit? This all comes from the spirit. This world and our mindset. Hallelujah. And fighting comes from the spirit of God. Hallelujah. God's a man of war. Amen. Hallelujah. How many believe that? Amen. Praise God. So many people, now here's the thing that when I was, when I was studying this, amen, this is the thing that he said, I believe that God was putting in my heart, uh, uh, really pressing on me. And he says, my people had to learn to come boldly to the throne of grace. Hallelujah. You have to come boldly to the throne of grace. Pastor was preaching this morning. He just, we do the shallow prayers. Hallelujah. Oh, God bless me. But pastor was teaching. I thank God for that. He was teaching. This is how you fight. This is how I pray. He's the shepherd of our souls. And he's teaching you. This is how I fight. This is how I pray. And I thank God for that, pastor. Because we got to hear that. We got to learn how to fight. Why haven't you learned that, pastor? Through the battles. Through the many battles you've gone through. That's why you learned that. And then you teach your people. You teach your, your sheep how to do that. Amen. Hallelujah. We got to learn how to fight. Hallelujah. We're still learning how to fight. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The enemy can draw a catch and sink at you. And there's nothing he can do to bring you down. Hallelujah. He throwing all he's got to you. And there's nothing he can bring you down. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. So my people have to learn to come boldly to the throne of grace. Press forward. Press for your soul. Press for your family. Press for your neighbors. Hallelujah. You got to press. Because God's, amen, God's waiting on you. He's waiting on me. Hallelujah. Amen. Hebrews 4, 5, 15 through 16 says that. Come boldly to the throne of grace. Amen. Okay. How to be like Joshua. Ready to fight. Ready to fight the angel. He says, are you with us or are you with the enemy? Are you with us or are you with the enemy? Hallelujah. He's talking to an angel. That's radical. I want to be, yeah. I want to be like that. He wants you to be like that. Hallelujah. Are you for us? Are you with the enemy? Hallelujah. Praise God. You have to be like that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. You have to be like that. You have to be violent. Hallelujah. Because our soul is at stake. People's souls are at stake. 
Hallelujah. Amen. When the pastor's behind the pulpit and some, and some enemy comes through the side door, the pastor has to say, are you for us or are you for the enemy? And the pastor keeps an eye on that person or keeps an eye on that thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? And we have, as a church, have to be that way. Are you for us? Are you with us? Are you with the enemy? Amen. You have to be that way. You always have to be on guard. You always have to be diligent, church. You ain't got time to sleep. You ain't got time to slumber. Not anymore. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You can rest, but rest in God. You can rest in God, but fight at the same time. Because God's already finished. See, if we would get that right, if I would get that right, that God's already finished it, he already got the victory. It's already done in the heavens. What we can do. What we can do. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I got to be a doer of the word. And not just a hearer only. The seed of my own self. Amen. Hallelujah. You have to be like Jehu. Hallelujah. Remember Jehu? Hallelujah. He went after Jezebel. Hallelujah. Here comes King Ahaz and his throne. And then this other king. Hallelujah. Jerome. Jerome. Jermoah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And he says, peace. You come in peace, Jehu? Peace with the enemy? You come in peace? He goes, no, 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 no. He says, peace? There is no peace until that Jezebel is dead. That Jezebel's in my way. That Jezebel's in God's way. Hallelujah. There is no peace until Jezebel is dead. Until that witch, hallelujah, is dead. Until that sorceress is dead. There is no peace. You have to be that way. You have to be a warrior in these last days. Hallelujah. These spirits don't die. But we, we trust in our God. Because God can defeat those spirits. But he wants to defeat them through you. He wants to defeat them through the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So you have to be violent, church. There is no peace. But there is peace with me. I'm at peace with God. That's the most important thing. Am I at peace with God? If I am at peace with God, that's good. I'm at rest with God, that's good. But I'm not at peace with the enemy. Because the enemy is not at peace with me. And I have to be violent. You have to be radical. You, in a sense, have to be insane for Jesus Christ. You have to be, amen, crazy for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What the world calls sane, you can't be that way in God's kingdom. You got to be, I'm serious, church. You got to, when they look at you and you say, I talked to God today, they're going to look at you crazy. That's okay. Hallelujah. That's okay. Hallelujah. As greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I was talking to my friend, the atheist across the, uh, across the hallway from me. Hallelujah. Trying to preach to him a little bit. Amen. Hallelujah. He's agnostic. And I'm trying to reach him. Hallelujah. Talking about the end times. Trying to reach him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, well, you know, he started throwing all these other excuses out. Amen. But I'm still trying to reach him. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I'm not going to let nothing stop me. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I'll just keep on pressing. I'll just keep on using the wisdom of God. God knows how to do it. Amen. God, just give me wisdom how to approach him. God knows how to approach him. It's all about God. Amen. Hallelujah. Must press to enter into his rest. Amen. Right now, church, there's a gross immoral freedom going on. Amen. Amen. The book of Jude talks about it. Gross immoral freedom. Hallelujah. People are trying to seek their own truth. Trying to make their own truth. In this day and age, they'll make their own truth. You ever heard of that? Hallelujah. He says, hey, you can make your own truth. Yeah, you can make your own truth. You want to be this, you can be that. Hallelujah. If I want to, be, if I want to call myself um. Hallelujah. I ain't going to go there. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, praise God, you can make your own truth. I can call blue red. I can call red blue. Amen. That's the truth. And that's where I, that's what pastor's preaching this morning. That's where the idols, imaginations. Amen. Idols come from imaginations. Amen. I'm going to make my own truth. Hallelujah. And when you make your own truth, that's a spirit that's going to show up to that truth. And it's going to make it a reality. Hallelujah. Amen. When you make their own truth, it's going to come and deceive you. It says, okay, I want to make that truth a reality to deceive you. Hallelujah. That's why we got to go forward and preach the gospel. That's why we got to go forward and be violent. Hallelujah. For God's kingdom's sake. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he wants to win these people. You can't be like Israel. When God said pursue, their response was fear. I want to be like Caleb. How about you? His was his response, church. Let's go. We are well able. I'm going to paraphrase it. We are well able to whip them. 
Amen. Hallelujah. We're all able to whip them. Hallelujah. Why? How? By God. God's going to do it all for me. I just enter into his rest. I just trust in his word. Hallelujah. That's all I got to do. And I'm going to whip them. God's going to use me. They're giants though. We're like grasshoppers. Hey, we still whip them. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Numbers 13, 30. Some trust in chariots. Others trust in horses. But I trust in the Lord of hosts. Psalms 20, verse 7. See, we got to lay down our lives as a living sacrifice. See, that's the problem. Sometimes we, we have not laid down our lives as a living sacrifice. Have you laid down your life? Like Jesus Christ, he laid down his life for the whole world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Though he slay me, yet will I. I'm going to lay down my life. I want to lay down my life for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, church. Give the Lord a hand clap. A praise. Amen. Man. So we have to be violent, church. We have to press forward. Amen. Amen. We can't, we can't be like Israel. Hallelujah. When you look at Book of Judah, and I'm almost done. Amen. I'm almost done. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, it, it, it's interesting. Book of Judah has so much in this. Hallelujah. Amen. But I'm going to show you something. Amen. Yes, Lord. I'm going to show you something. I've been, I got this book of Enoch. People think that this is not part of the canon. Amen. I'm not going to talk about that. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I'm going to share something with you that I think is very interesting. Okay. Out uh, of the book of Enoch. Now, Jude, he, he referenced the book of Enoch. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And um, praise God. And what was happening is, you know, it's, it's all about, it's all regarding Genesis 6, right? When the angels left their first estate, amen, hallelujah, the book of Enoch talks about these 10 uh, angel leaders, right? And, and, a, and a total of 200 came down on Mount Hermon, amen, hallelujah, and slept with the daughters of men and made hybrids, made giants, praise God, amen. And this is what, and look what happened here, all this happened, all this was happening. And it almost seems like God is waiting for someone to stand in the gap. He's waiting for someone to press. He's waiting for someone, amen, hallelujah, to go in the gap for these people because these angels are running the muck, man. There's, these giants are, are, are bringing terror. They're destroying the land. Hallelujah, amen. There is righteous people in the earth, but God is waiting, amen. And this is interesting. And this is what I mean by pressing forward. Hallelujah. Come boldly to the throne of grace. God wants you to come boldly. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm going to read this to you. Can, can I read this to you? And then Michael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel looked down from heaven. These are the angels of God, the angels that have not fallen. The angels that have not left their first estate. And then Michael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel looked down from heaven and saw much blood being shed upon the earth. And all lawlessness being wrought upon the earth. And they said one to another, the earth made without inhabitant cries, the voice of their crying up to the gates of heaven. They're crying. These people on the earth are crying. And now to you, the holy ones of heaven, the souls of men make their suit saying, bring our cause before the most high. Amen. And they said to the Lord of the ages, Lord of lords, God of God, King of kings. And God of the ages, the throne of thy glory standeth unto all the generations of the ages. And thy name holy and glorious and blessed unto all the ages. Thou hast made all things. See how they come to God. Amen. They come boldly. Amen. These angels are doing this. Amen. And power over all the things hast thou. And all things are naked and open in thy sight. And all the things thou seest and nothing can hide itself from thee. Thou seest what this Azael hath done, this fallen angel, who had taught all unrighteousness on the earth and revealed the eternal secrets which were preserved in heaven, which men were striving to learn. And this other fallen angel, Semjaza, to whom thou hast given authority to bear rule over his associates. These were watchers. They were supposed to be watching. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thou hast, but they left their first estate. Thou hast given authority to bear rule over his associates. And they have gone to the daughters of men upon the earth and have slept with the women and have defiled themselves and revealed them all kinds of sins. And the woman have borne giants and whole earth has been, have thereby been filled with blood and unrighteousness. And now... Behold, the souls of those who have died are crying and making their suit to the gates of heaven. And their lamentations have ascended and cannot cease because of the lawless deeds which are wrought on the earth. Amen. And thou knowest all things before they come to pass. 
and, the, and thou seest the things that thou sufferest them, and doest not say to us what we are to do them in regard to these. You see that? You have not said anything. It's what we need to do. They're waiting on God, but they go to God first. They go to God. Amen. Hallelujah. And then said, Most High, they're coming to God boldly. And great ones spake and sent Uzra to the son of Lenin. So God started answering. Then said the Most High, the Holy and Great One, spake. Then he spoke. Then he spoke. Amen. And sent Uriel to the son of Lamech and said to him, Go to Noah and tell him in my name, hide thyself and reveal to him the end that is approaching, that the whole earth will be destroyed and the deluge is about to come upon the whole earth and will destroy all that is on it. Amen. And now instruct them that he may escape and his seed may be preserved for all generations of the world. And again, the Lord said to Raphael, bind Isaiah. Amen. He just keep on sending them. Andy Michael, go bind this angel. Hallelujah. You go bind them. You go bind them. Hallelujah. You go talk to Noah. Amen. See, what I'm trying to share with you, church, is this. Amen. We must come boldly to the throne of grace. Hallelujah. We must press. You can't go with shallow prayers to God. We must go boldly. Hallelujah. That's what God is trying to, wants, to, wants to speak to you tonight, church. That's all I have. But we must come boldly to the throne of grace. We must press forward. We must be violent. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, church. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen.